this is going to be first period is going to be english oxford english and then in second period we are going to do islamic studies so everyone take out your english books and notebooks assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everybody can hear me loud and clear anyone any problem no problem okay so alhamdulillah we have five students here so we will start the class We mean English. you open the chapter going going gun if we are doing some exercises in it we did some of the exercises and some exercises were not done so on page number 136 page number 136 now we have done the exercises on page number 136 where you had to tell whether the word train was the actual word train or it was used for something else where it had some other meaning so we did this exercise on page number 136 now we are going to do the next exercise ji nurul huda amjad ji i think you are in the wrong class this is 8th grade this is the 8th grade english we are doing <clears throat> Now go to page number one thirty-seven. We have Alisha, Aisha here. Aliza Adil is here. Kissa Fatma, Muhammad Ali Ghori, and we have Hajra here. So five participants are here. we are going to use do exercise number 1 on page number 136 english we are on english page number 136 and it says here pairs expressions and idioms pairs expressions and idioms So sometimes people, some people say idioms also. Idioms also. So Abdul Muiz has also joined us. Sheikh Soheil has joined us again. Now we are going to read these four expressions. There is a word called metaphorically. See, there is a word called metaphorically. Okay, so what is metaphorically means? Metaphorically means that basically, if you look, metaphorically means that the word itself is something which is not really what it is. Metaphorically means it is related to something, but it is not really what you see it is. That is called metaphorically. for example just to give you some simple examples arabian horses are known for their fast speed so we will say he runs like an arabian horse he runs like an arabian horse that meaning that he is running very fast
eagles are known to fly very high eagles are known to fly very high so just example i am giving you what is metaphorically means so he flies like an eagle then bees are very fast when they are ready to sting bees are very fast so you see flies like an eagle stings like a bee so these are all metaphorically you are not biting anybody you will not be biting anybody okay now shayan ali is also here all right children once again assalam alaikum now 10 children are here sheikh suhail is here shayan is here ali ghori is here kissa fatma kanza se famna aliza aisha abdul moiz and hajra we are an english book page number 137 and i was giving examples of metaphorically the word is metaphorically which means not exactly what you see so it is in relation to and i gave three examples that arabian horses run very fast so we say he runs like an arabian horse meaning he is very fast then bees are very quick in stinging so they say he stings like a bee and then what was the third example i gave third example eagles fly very high so you say he soars like an eagle it means that the direct craft or the new plane or whatever it is it goes up very high in the sky you know some of the falcons so now let's coming back i just read the first one we are doing expressions and idioms read the first one she is gone off the rails she is gone off the rails so she is gone off the rail okay <laughs> here it means that the person has become some kind of a mental problem or stupid talking rubbish so you have to explain the word in such a way so when you going to write the answer you are not going to write rubbish or you was talking rubbish no you are going to write an expression two or three sentences in which you explain this expression and they have done the first one for you when you have established their correct use write sentence or paragraph using each of the five five expressions make sure that you make it clear that you have understood the meaning for example don't write she went off the rail when she was young okay this is incorrect correct is laila went off the rail after her father died when she was 14 she will no longer pay any attention in her lessons and broke all the school rules her mother could not do anything with her so basic meaning gone off the rail is that the person has gone crazy the person has gone crazy this is what the meaning of gone off the rail is so you are going to explain it in three two three or four sentences everybody clear any question no questions okay next one is he is back on track he is back on track the meaning of back on track is that the person whatever mistakes they were making now they are not making those mistakes whatever the person was making mistakes now he is no longer making those mistakes that is called he is back on track he is back on track so you are going to write the meaning of he is back on track explain it in about three or four sentences
just to give you one more example because of the covid abdul aziz got fired from his job and he was not paying attention to anything and he was not doing anything right but now he has found another job and he is back on track everybody clear so first he was not doing anything correctly now because he has found another job or you can say ramadan in started i was making many mistakes shaheen chalo shaila koi bhi name le lo any name I was making lot of mistakes during the whole year but once the ramadan started ramadan started he is back on track meaning that now they are doing the correct things don't write my sentences okay make your own sentences it was a train of thoughts it was a train of thoughts meaning the person was thinking for a long time a train of thoughts meaning a person was thinking for a long time see abdullah half class has passed you have joined us very late yusra is also coming in late yusra is late abdullah ata is late we are on page number here yeah, yusra is still there out We are on page number one thirty-seven. Yusra and Ata, Abdullah Ata. And what we have done? We are doing these idioms and expressions. My participation list has become small. Ahmed Anzari has just joined us after half an hour. One more child. Now we have fourteen children in the class. See all these new children. Try to come on time. We said it is. We send you a message also that seven o'clock you should be ready. You know, five minutes before the class starts. you should be sitting with your mobile phone or pc <clears throat> whatever arrangements you have made everybody clear because otherwise you are wasting the time of the other students we are on page number 137 we are doing expressions and idioms and we are talking about metaphorically metaphorically means that it means something other than what you actually see it means something other than what you actually see and we have done the example of she is gone of the rail and he is back on track and both of these you have to explain it in 3 to 5 sentences so that the meaning should be completely clear <coughs> she is gone of the rail meaning that she has completely gone crazy and then whatever happened we have to use five sentences and explain it he is back on track now we are on the third one it was a train of thoughts a train of thoughts meaning that we are constantly thinking about something sometimes it is called sheikh chilli okay you know how i will buy 12 eggs i will put them in a warm place after 27 days the chicks will come out when the chicks will come out then i will <coughs> keep all the chicken and i will eat all the roosters except for one so out of those 12 there will be eight chicken there will be eight chicken <laughs> and there will be four roosters so i will three eat the three roosters everybody get the idea this is called a chain of thoughts that after one thought then you have another thought 
and after that you have another thought this is called a train of thoughts it was a train of thoughts aksa we are on page number 137 english book half period is finished then number 4 he has hit the buffers <clears throat> meaning of this word is that meaning is that you come to a sudden stop and you're not able to do something correctly he has hit the buffer write the meaning that a person has come to a complete stop and cannot do anything more in hit the buffers the complete eighth grade was ready to take the final exam the complete eighth grade of 2020 he was ready to take the final exam and then because of the covid they hit the buffer and nobody took the final exam everybody clear so sometimes the buffer is you know something that you cannot stop something that you cannot control something which is beyond your powers like for example many times they use the example of writers that the writer has hit the buffers it means that he is not able to think clearly to write a story <clears throat> full steam ahead full steam ahead next word is full steam ahead meaning now we are ready to tackle the world full steam ahead meaning now we are ready to tackle the world my eighth grade students students of ace school practice taekwondo for 3 to 6 months with the special classes and they went full steam ahead they went full steam ahead to get their black belts and the sleeping ones were sleeping so full steam ahead when you are doing something with your full power energy concentration when you are doing something with full power energy concentration so these are done any question yes children any question the train spotter spent hours watching train at the city station so what do you think the train means yes actual train because train spotter the person who watches the for the train in the old days there were no computers so there used to be people sitting at a high place they used to make towers where the person will watch the train so those are called train watchers or spotters and then as they will see the train they used to have these big flags also so they used to wave the flags also for the driver so those are train this is all train train spotter now which chapter would you like to do children tell me we'll go with your choice anyone any choice
no. All right, then we will go to page number 272. Everybody open page number 272. <coughs> open your page number 272. The tree of life from Mozambique. The tree of life from Mozambique. See Mozambique. is also in Africa. Okay. Now what the British invaders did, they destroyed Mozambique also. The Britishers are your worst enemies. And these children of O level, A level are the slaves of the Britishers. And their parents are also their slaves because they are supporting the Britishers. So they are still Britishers have left, but everywhere they left, they went, they left their traces and this all these o level studies which the children are doing it is part of the british slaves and they are paying 30 30000 rupees and 20000 rupees plus to the schools which are teaching them this nonsense you can say sir you are also using these english o level books yes because, because english is a language which started somewhere in great britain so if you want to learn English, use their, their book. Understand the point. So you want to learn Islam, read Quran. You want to learn Islam, read Quran. You want to learn Islam, read Quran. You want to learn English, read an English book written by the English author. So these are people written by them. They are not Pakistani authors. So this is why we are using them in the early part. We were using the American books also because they are also speak English, American English. It's a language. You have to learn and understand the language. If you understand and learn the language, you are going to get better. If you do not learn the language, you are never going to get better. So English is a language. It is something that you should learn. This is how you will know what your enemies are planning and plotting. Learn English as if you are doing jihad against the kuffar. Learn English as if they have killed your mother and your father. And you have to learn the language to take your revenge. <laughs> and it is the truth. See, the British invaders came to Indo-Pak subcontinent during the Mughal Empire. And they said that we want to trade tea. Meaning we want to sell tea. So they sold tea, but then they brought all their bad women from Great Britain because there are too many bad women in the Great Britain. And they made the Sardars of the Mughal Empire, the princes and prince fight over these bad women and Sharab, they brought in all these things. And this is how the Mughal Empire crumbled and the Britishers were able to take everything from the Mughals, took all their money, jewels, gold, diamond and took it back to their dirty, dengue, small islands, which they call them the Great Britain. The four islands, see Great Britain is, a comp it is complete with four islands. <coughs> We will talk about Great Britain, the, you know, the slave masters. So anytime you see, you know, people who are doing all level and a level say, oh, so you are understanding the ways of your kuffar so that you can be like them because you are learning from them. See, in every time there are people who do these things because same thing they did. You know, with the Red Indians, the Americans, they went to the Red Indians. Now the poor, bichare, bichare, stupid native Indians bought guns from the Americans, bought guns from the Americans. Americans sold them the guns. And what they do? There is a firing pin. There is a firing pin, okay, in every rifle. So the first 10, 20 rifles, 
everything was correct they were working fine so they checked it also in the remaining 90 in the remaining 90 they bent the firing pin so now the whole rifle is there looks exactly like a one which is working correctly and more than 80% of the rifles could not fire because their firing pin is a small mechanism to fire the bullet was bent treachery trickery this is how they win the war so they made fun now because they were not manufacturing their own guns why pakistan has not been destroyed so far because pakistan tries to do everything on their own yes the pathans in peshawar in afghanistan they used to make their own guns the quality of the gun was not good but still they were firing when they fired they killed the enemy they were not dependent now pakistan is building Uh, extremely good quality weapons with the help of the army engineers they are guiding the same patans they have taken those same patans and they have guided them how to do it properly and correctly and accurately so now we are making ttt or tt also and and bazooka and rifles and everything machine guns and if, because you guys you know are very bichare poor children you never have a newspaper on sunday a newspaper you know there was a picture of pakistani machine guns on display in turkey because turkey is going to buy the machine guns from pakistan khair charing i i know these things because i love my country and i can speak in english when you will love your country and you will speak in english you will also do good things in your life Let's see. Normally, Kissa reads. So yes, Kissa, would you like to read? Let's start the chapter. Okay, sir. The Tree of Life from Mozambique. Mozambique. The charity Christian aid and the Mozambique. The charity Christian aid and the British Museum in London have commissioned commissioned a very special piece of art. from four artists in mozambique in east africa it is called the tree of life and after being on display in the peace park in maputo the capital of mozambique it was displayed in the british museum in london it is special because the tree of life is a sculpture made entirely from weapons which have been decommissioned since the end of mozambique pickers 16 year long civil war a project called the transforming arms into to tools project was launched to encourage mozambican people to hand in their weapons in exchange they receive items which they could use to rebuild and this is even when the weapons which they had this is what to say about this club the transforming into project is not coming clearly to stop of that from people to get say stop is the sound is not coming properly okay no mohammad ali ghori read the chapter from the beginning again from the second paragraph it is special because it is special because the tree of life is a sculpture made entirely from weapons which have been decommissioned since the end of the 16 year long civil war a project called the transforming us into two project launched to encourage and the weapon since they received item which they could use to rebuild their life and their businesses such as sewing machines bicycles or even tractors depending on the value of the weapon which they handed in this is what people have to say about this sculpture the transforming arms into tools project takes the instruments 
of death from people and gives them the opportunity to develop a productive life. Dragon Metal, the project's patron and wife of Nelson Mandela. It is amazing to see how Mozambican artists build a sculpture of peace through creating fascinating sculptures from dismantled killing machines. Bishop Doom Dennis Sanguilin, founder of the project. The Tree of Life is an extraordinary thought provoking sculpture. Neil McGregor, director of the British Museum, London. I want to keep working with guns because then I know I am destroying them. The tree of life is to give hope and life to people so that they understand that the world would be better without gun, without war. Fidel knows Santos, one of the artists. The life I have now is much better than before I gave in my gun. Now I have a bicycle to go to town to buy things to sell in my shop. And now I have iron sheets to make a roof for my shop. I have been given very useful things. Philippi Tosin, Mozambican shopkeeper who handed in his weapon. All right, thank you. <clears throat> See, let's ask the first question, who gave them the guns, my dear? People living in East Africa, they were hunting with bows and arrows. So who sold them the guns? The Europeans, the Britishers, the French, the German, the Boer, the people from Scotland. First, they gave them the gun. Now they let them fight it out. Why they were fighting? For gold and diamond. Because, again, Americans, they don't go to Myanmar. Britishers are not going to Myanmar. Why they are not going to the Myanmar? Because there is nothing there. There is no diamonds there. There are no diamonds, no gold in Myanmar. Otherwise, they will be going there. So understand this, that if these people, you know, they are your worst enemies, the Britishers. The Europeans, these are all non-Muslims. They are your worst enemies. If they were going to go there for humanitarian reasons, they should go to Myanmar right now. Millions of Muslims are being killed in Myanmar currently. There are many millions of Muslims sheltering in Bangladesh. And then Bangladesh is now transferring them to a separate island which is an unstable island. So the whole point here is this. First they gave them the guns and this part they have removed. Again, this is called the biased education. This is called the biased education. If they want to talk about Mozambique, they should start that who first gave them the guns. Now they are fighting, killing each other. Vicious. Vicious means very extremely brutal extremely brutal war vicious underline the word vicious meaning a very bloody war then they have used the word decommissioned decommissioned means no longer in use no longer in use And they are taking the guns are decommissioned. See, USA and Russia has so many nuclear weapons that they can destroy the whole world 200 times. They think USA, United States of America and Russia, they are still part of Russia, the main Russia is still there. They have so many atomic bombs, nuclear bombs, that they can destroy the whole world 200 times. Have they decommissioned their, have they decommissioned their nuclear weapons? No. <laughs> See, they, 
we are have you know three minutes left i'm going to end this with a joke which is a reality okay this is a joke with a reality so in africa in african countries so he, there was a friend a gora friend white man you know from europe he said i want to visit your africa so he went and talked to his friends they said that oh the gora the white man he wants to come and visit us yes welcome welcome they he can stay with me another friend said stay with me and they were very happy that there is a white man coming to their home from usa or <coughs> did not say great britain so then after they start staying there then the white man what the white man did he started doing his crazy thing what is a crazy thing first he married the wife of the friend where he was living at then the white man took over the land that he was living on he took over the land that he was living on and finally what is the crazy thing the white man did he changed their religion to christianity <laughs> see there is a although this see this was done by a comedian okay he did a very good job i'm not sure but this is something that you should understand he is not your friend my dear children all these people from usa america they are your worst enemies they want to see you as clerks menial workers they don't like to see you at equal level jobs they want to see you as taxi drivers they want to see you as a small small at small small jobs they don't like you when they see you in a good job so everybody read the chapter and tomorrow we are going to discuss more about the chapter because we have less than half minute left if anyone has any question write down your question for tomorrow's lecture see when you going to write down your questions for the, your lecture this is how you going to learn the most everybody clear so read the yes. chapter mark all difficult words and